Hey guys, let's make a guitar. First we will take a small brown rectangle and cut the corners off so that it is nice and round. We want to turn our rectangle into an oval. This will be the body of our guitar. Now for the curvy sides, we will cut two semicircles on the sides of the body. Cut in, cut around, and off. Let's look at that again. Cut in, cut out, nice and slowly, and cut all the way off. Now for the neck, we will cut a long, skinny rectangle. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Take your tap glue. Remember it is push and squeeze. Make your little dot and set your body on top of the neck. This way the tail of the neck is hiding behind the body. Now next will be the head. And for the head, we are going to cut some small rectangles which will be the knobs that we turn to tune the strings. Remember, this is an abstract guitar, so you can make as many knobs as you like. Once you have your knobs cut, take that tap glue, tap and squeeze, tap and squeeze, tap and squeeze, and lay your little rectangles across the neck. That way they look like the knobs. Just like that. Now for the sound hole, we are actually going to take a black square. And just like before, we're going to cut the corners off of that square so it becomes a nice round circle. Take your tap glue, you push and squeeze, and lay that circle on the body. Last will be the strings. Now the strings will be in a nice bag just like this, and you'll pull that handy dandy little tail, measure how long you need, take your scissors, and snip off the string. Make sure you leave that tail so that it is easy for you to pull your next string. Snip, check for the little tail, and pull again. Remember boys and girls, this is an abstract guitar, so you may make as many strings as you like. Now you will need a good dot of glue up at the top and a good dot of glue up down at the bottom. Remember, the strings go across the sound hole, so lay those strings from the top to the bottom. Continue until you have glued all of your strings and you have created a beautiful guitar. <laughs>